Okay, so here we go with part two. I already showed you in uh, part one how to start the system, select Motorola, enter yes. You set your quick key on the edit site to quick key number one because it's system one. Now we're going to talk about talk groups. This is how Motorola 800 megahertz systems work. Like I said, Vacville, Fairfield, and Sassoon are all on the same radio system. It's three different cities all operating on the same radios. Okay, they're only separated by talk groups. Okay. So after you've entered in your frequencies, you're going to go to Edit Group, and there's your system talk groups. Okay. That's all Fairfield. Sassoon's a very small city, so it only has those. And then there's Vacaville. So what you're going to do, edit group. For you, it's not going to say anything. It's just going to say new group. You select new group. It's just going to say group one. Okay. My groups are Vacaville Police, Vacaville Fire, Fairfield Police, Fairfield Fire, Sassoon Police, um, and Joint ICS. Uh, let's see. So you're going to select new group. It's going to say group one. Group one, it'll say group one on top. You have to edit the name. Remember to name your system. Name your system, name your site, name your groups. So I named group one Back of a Police. Set quick key for group one as group, as quick key number one. System one, quick key one. Group one, quick key one. System two, group system two, quick key two, group two, quick key two. That you know, that's how that works. Okay, so system so group one is gonna be quick key one. Edit channel. Okay. For you, when you go to new channel, it's just gonna say channel one. Now these are the talk groups for Vacaville. See where it says DEC here? Decimal. That's the decimal. And these are your talk group IDs. Okay, see how it says VACAPD PAT1? VACAPD PAT1. That's what I named it. It'll say group 1, but you have to enter in the name. So it'll be channel 1. Edit the name to whatever, you know, city, police department, channel 1, dispatch, whatever you want to name it. This is where you enter the ID. Edit. TGID is top group ID. 208. See how it says decimal right there in that column? 208 is Vacaville PD PAT 1. The description of what that channel is is right there. It is just the regular dispatch channel. Okay? So after you've entered in 208, you'll hit enter. I'm just going to go back. Okay? You don't need to worry about any of this other stuff at all okay don't worry about any of that other stuff yet channel 2 so you what you'll do is after channels 1 channel 1 is done it'll say new channel just edit just hit new channel it'll come up as channel 2 it'll say channel 2 remember to name it edit talk group ID 272 272 Vacaville Police Department, Patrol 2. The, the alpha tag is what you name the system, or what you name the group, or, um, sorry. The alpha tag is what you name the channel. After you name it, don't worry about nothing else. Just go down to the very bottom to new channel, and then just enter in another channel, and it'll automatically come up. Channel 3. Name channel three. Edit talk group ID four three two. Four three two. Okay. See the pattern. Now this is only group one. Okay. Back of a police. You go to create another group. Group two. Group two for me is going to be. Vacaville Fire Department. Set quick key. Number two. Quick key two. Group two is quick key two. 
Group one is one. Group two is quick key two. Group three is quick key three. Edit channel. Okay. Channels. Vacaville Fire Department dispatch. There. Okay. See it right there? VACA FD DISP. You don't have to name it exactly what's in the alpha tag. I just put Vacaville FD DISP is, you know, Vacaville Fire Department Dispatch. I tend to follow that. Okay. Channel 1, it'll say Channel 1, name it. Talk group ID. Now that's what you want to do. You want to separate your groups. So you want police to be on one group and fire to be on another group. For that city, you know, that way you can turn them on and off and listen to one at a time. So you enter the talk group ID. See right there, 464, fire dispatch. 464 is back fire dispatch. You don't need to worry about anything else. Just go down to new channel, select new channel. It'll automatically bring up a new channel. And you just enter in the talk group ID. Let me just show you what it is. After you've done all that up here and you go down to new channel, you just click new channel, it'll automatically bring up the next talk group ID. So you just, you enter in that talk group ID, you set up that, that channel. Once you click new channel, this will automatically come up and you just go down the line. 208, 272, 432, 304, 336. You just keep doing that. Now make sure that you don't enter all of these on the same group. If you want police on one group and fire on another group, you start at the top where it says police patrol one. You go down, all the way down, and then you stop. See where it says police DUI checkpoints? You stop there. When it gets to the fire department, set up a new group. Put that on a completely separate group. Okay. Let me show you the reason why we do separate groups. System 1 is flashing on System 1. When you press this function button, you will see the groups pop up on the bottom. See how GRP? Group 1 is the only one on right now. That's Vacaville Police. I have all of these groups that I can turn on and off. See? Group 3 is flashing because Fairfield Police is Group 3. So. If I'm in Vacaville and I only want to hear Vacaville Police, I press function, I turn off everything except group one because I set the quick key for group one, Vacaville Police, as one. So group one is the only one that this is going to, you know, it's the only one you're going to hear. You're not going to hear everything else. Let's say you want to hear both. Vacaville police and Vacaville fire, but nothing else. You would turn group one on for the police and group two on for the fire department. If you only wanted to hear the fire department, you turn group one off and just leave two on. If you want to hear all of them all at the same time, you turn them all on. And that's it. It's very, I mean, it's intimidating at first when you don't know what you're doing and there's no instructions and nothing. And I couldn't find a single video on YouTube on how to do this, so I figured I'd do it for you guys. I saw one video of a guy that is, the title of the video was like BCT15X How to Program, and it was kind of a joke. It, he just was babbling on about random stuff, um, about, you know, this, these functions here, like police and highway patrol. Do not use these. Don't use these at all. Leave them off. They will only cause issues. Because, see, there's some random thing there that's on. I have no idea who it is. I've got no idea who that is. It just, it just says California Police Slash Sheriff, and it gives you the frequency. Um, it's useless. It's just going to make things harder. You're not going to know what's going on, who it is. Just leave them turned off. Program your radio yourself and set it up the way you want it. Same thing with the state. Don't worry about setting the state. Don't set the close call alert. Don't set any of that. Leave it all off. Okay? Hopefully this video helped. Um, you know, like I said, go to radioreference.com.
right here, radioreference.com. Search up your, you know, click database. Search up your city, your county, your state. It'll give you a list of cities. Click your city, click your county, and search it up that way. If it's one of these, Motorola Type 2 SmartNet, this is how you do it. Okay? And then also go on Google, search up BCT15X, easier to read manual. It's under markscanners.com. Click that link. It'll be an online, step-by-step, -step, detailed explanation of how to program anything in this radio. Okay, so go online, look that up, read that, and watch these videos at the same time, you know, while you're trying to do it. And, you know, that should be enough for you, uh, enough input for you guys to, to figure it out. Okay, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I hope it helped.